Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm giving you a full tour and set of tutorial of our newest Notion template, the 12 week Notion Planner. And this planner is designed to help you stay on track with your goals, plan your weeks effectively and boost productivity all in one place. And in this video, I'll not only show you how to set it up, but also walk you through how to use each part of the template so you can get the most out of it. So let's dive in. All right, before we proceed, I want to clarify that the template I'll be demonstrating in this tutorial might not be the exact version you purchased. You might have chosen one of these other styles. However, the only differences between these templates are aesthetics, such as banners, dividers, gallery images, and icon. Everything else is exactly the same. So now that we've cleared that up, let's get started. So first things first, make sure you have a Notion account. If you don't have one yet, you can sign up for a free account using the link in my description below. And once you're all set up, open the PDF you received with your purchase and inside you'll find a link to the template. So just click that link and it'll take you to the page where the template is located. Once you're on that page, look for the icon in the upper right corner of your screen and click on that duplicate button to add the template to your account. You may be prompted to log into your Notion account, so just make sure you're logged into the account where you want your Notion template to be duplicated. The duplication process may take a few minutes, but once it's complete, you'll be all set up and ready to start using your template. And that's it. So let's jump into the template. So the first page you'll want to visit when you open up your template, which you'll find on your dashboard. So click on that to start customizing the template to fit your preferences and get it ready for your own entries. So on the template setup page, you'll see two main steps. The first step is a guide to help you get started with using the template. It covers all the basics like how to add reminders, switch between dark and light mode, how do databases work, and how to recover anything you might have accidentally deleted, whether it's pages, databases, properties or even your whole Notion template. So in step two, you'll find a few preset databases that help you customize the template to quickly better fit your needs. And on this page, you'll also be able to start adding your own stuff right away so the template will fill up quickly with your entries, making it feel more like your own. So once you finish with this page, not only will the template start to feel more personalized with your customizations, but from here, you'll also be able to delete all example entries that were added to the the template to show you how it works. So here you'll find some instructions to guide you through each step. And in this toggle, you'll see all your databases with the example entries that were added for demonstration purposes. And obviously these are not your entries. So what you're going to do is go to each one of these databases, which are numbered and delete all the example entries from these databases like this. And then you'll continue doing that for all these databases until you reach the final database. Once you're done, close the toggle and now the template is ready for you to start adding your own entries. And I'll show you how to do that later in the video in this section right here. Or if you'd like, you can also start doing it right now. This section includes callouts with instructions to help you get started. However, for the purpose of this video, I want to go over some of the key pages in the template so you can better understand understand how it works. So this will make it easier to follow along when we get to this section. However, if you want to skip ahead and start adding your own entries right now, feel free to jump to the timestamp called add your own entries and you'll be able to do that in just a few minutes and get your template ready to use. If you didn't know when you purchase this template, you also get exclusive lifetime access to the Pixie Hub. The Hub is a free Notion template that comes with your purchase designed to help you get the most out of your template in the long run. It's packed with extra resources like tips, tutorials, free templates, tools, and customization items to support your productivity and Notion journey. Plus, this resource is updated every month, so you'll receive something new for free each month to complement your Notion template purchase. So if you're interested in getting this template for yourself, simply click the link in the description below. Now back to the video. The first thing you want to do before getting into the planning for the next 
12 weeks is to set your goals for the year and also identify your life vision. And you can do this by using the yearly vision page. So on this page, you'll create a new entry for the current year. And you'll also notice that this database includes pre-made pages for the upcoming years. So just select the corresponding year and start going through the reflection prompt. And first here, you'll have the opportunity to reflect on what happened in the past year and not just overall, but in different areas of your life. And trust me, this is really helpful before starting your 12 week planning because it allows you to see what worked, what didn't and where you need to focus your efforts. So after reflecting, you'll go through a set of prompts to create a plan for the year that also aligns with your life vision. And then at the end, you'll make your yearly goal list, which is a space to write down everything you want to accomplish this year without holding back. So here you are going to write everything that you want to accomplish this year. And once you're done with that, you can go back to the yearly vision page where you'll find a section to create your vision board. And this vision board will also be visible on your main dashboard. But before jumping into the dashboard, I want to point out that you can archive your old vision boards by simply dragging and dropping them into the archived vision boards toggle. Personally, I love saving my past vision boards. So if you're like me, you'll really appreciate this feature. But now let's head over to the main dashboard and start our 12 week plan. Okay, so as you can see, your vision board is displayed right here on your dashboard along with your archived vision boards. So now that you've completed your yearly planning and you've set your goals for the year in alignment with your life vision, it's time to start planning for the next 12 weeks. So to do this, you'll use the quarters database on your dashboard. So this one right here and every year is divided into four quarters and each one is consisting of 12 weeks. So Q1 is January to March. Q2 is April to June. Q3 is July to September. And Q4 is October to December. And in this database, you'll find pre-made pages for each quarter as well as an empty page in case you prefer a more flexible approach. And once you've selected the appropriate quarter, create a new page where you'll plan your next 12 weeks weeks. So opening this page, you'll find several sections. And first, you'll see properties to fill out like status, quarter, start date and deadline. I recommend not editing any of the other properties you see here, unless you're familiar with Notion as they contain formulas that track your 12 week goal completion. And if by mistake, you modify or edit any of these, then that could affect the templates functionality. So below that you'll see all 12 weeks listed with progress bars to track your progress week by week. And then there's a section where you'll define your goals for the next 12 weeks. You'll find the list of goals you created on the yearly vision page, which will help you decide which goals to focus on right now. So the first thing you are going to do here is review this list. So this would be list A and select the goals you want to prioritize for the next 12 weeks. And you can add additional goals if needed to this list. But once you pick your goals, you're going to link them to the current quarters page. So in this case, this page is Q1. So you're going to do this for the goals that you pick from this list. And as you keep doing this, you'll be creating list B, which becomes your focus for the next 12 weeks. The remaining goals you didn't select out of this list will automatically become your avoid at all cost list, meaning you won't focus on any of these goals until you complete your current priority goals. And this method follows Warren Buffett's two list strategy, where you focus exclusively on a few key goals and avoid distractions until you finish those goals. And don't worry, your avoid at all costs list will be waiting for you in the next 12 week cycle. So after defining your goals, now it's time to break them down into actionable steps for each week. And of course, you would start with week one. And in this case, all the weeks week pages have been created, as you can see. And that's also what I recommend to create all 12 week 
pages when you start your planning so you can visualize how many weeks you have left and so you would begin with week one right so this is where you'll start tracking and setting your recurring and one-off actions for the first week of your 12-week journey so now let's get started with week one First, set your recurring actions, which are tasks you need to do regularly to make progress on your goals. So write them down, select how often they need to be completed during the week, and check them off as you complete them. And the progress bar will update as you complete all of these recurring actions. So next, set your single or one-off actions which are important one-time actions or milestones so at the action set a due date and link it to the specific goal that action supports and as you complete these actions you'll see a visual tracker that updates with a red x if that action was missed or a star if that action was completed and each week's page allows you to track progress individually for that specific week but for a broader view of your overall progress the progress tracker page which is this one right here provides an overview of all your goals and it also gives you a breakdown of milestones you achieve and the reason why this is important is because a visual system for tracking your progress keeps you motivated and helps you celebrate those small wins while also allowing you to course correct if needed so this is why i always use visual tracking for my goals because it helps keep me on track so now let's get back to where we left off so on each week's page, you'll find a database for recurring actions, single or one-off actions, your visual tracker for that week, and lastly, a weekly review section. So this is where you can journal and reflect on the past week to assess how it went and identify areas for improvement for the following week. And the weekly review includes helpful questions to guide you in your reflection. And that's everything you'll find on each week's page. But if you go back to the 12 week planning page, which is this one right here, You'll also find a section for an end of 12 week review with a journaling prompts to guide your reflection. And keep in mind that for both the weekly reflections and the end of the 12 week reflections, you also have the option to select an empty page if you prefer to journal without the question prompts. You can also find all of your reflections in the 12 week review journal. And here you also have quick add buttons to easily start any of these reflections. And all your journal entries are going to be organized by month and year. Additionally, you have the option to archive journal entries you no longer want cluttering your database, but maybe wish to keep for future reference. So simply check this checkbox and the journal entry will now move to the archives database. And it's also important to note that all of the databases in this template will display entries for the current year, unless you go to the all tab in any of these databases. So this applies to any of the databases in the main dashboard and the progress tracker as well. However, if you'd like to review past 12 week cycles from previous years, you can easily do so by visiting the yearly archives page. The yearly archives page is designed to give you a streamlined way to access information from previous years, ensuring that your current data remains clean, clear, and up-to-date. So since most of the views in your databases across this whole template are set to show information for the current year, this page serves as a dedicated space for everything from past cycles, past actions, reflections, and even past vision boards. So each database within the yearly archives is organized by year, making it easier to find the information you need. And whether it's the past 12 week planning cycles, weekly actions, single actions, 
entries from your visual tracker or even archived reflections. And this organization is important because it allows you to review your progress over time and learn from previous cycles. And by seeing where you've been, you can better understand patterns, track long-term growth, and make improvements for future planning. And this helps you maintain a comprehensive view of your journey, not just in the present, but over multiple years, empowering you to adjust and optimize your goal setting strategy. So if you head back to the dashboard, you'll find a page called Mobile View. So the Mobile View was designed specifically for easy navigation on your phone. And while Notion works on any device, some pages can get crowded or tricky to navigate on smaller screens. So this page takes care of that by organizing all your main databases in a simple streamlined way, making it easy to access everything you need on the phone. So now that we've gone over most of the key pages of the template, let me show you the main dashboard. So as you saw earlier, you have your database for your 12 week planning right here, along with quick add buttons that let you easily add pages to your 12 week planning database. And if you scroll down a bit further, you'll see your 12 week focus for the current cycle you're working on, as well as your weekly actions, which are grouped by the planning pages. So for example, here you have the Q1 planning page. And as you continue adding pages to your 12 week planning database, which is this one right here, you'll see the weekly pages in this database right here grouped under those planning pages. Next, you'll see your priorities for this week based on your single or one-off actions along with your daily priorities, completed actions for the day, and a similar overview for the current month in this tab right here. Lastly, you'll find your vision board and your archived vision boards, as well as a section at the end of the page that has a page called databases, do not delete. Clicking this page will allow you to access all of the original databases in your template. And the reason why this page exists is because let's say you accidentally delete a database from any of the pages inside your template. You can find the original database in this page and simply copy and paste it back where needed. So this ensures everything stays functional without breaking the template. And the easiest way to determine if a database is an original or a linked database, it's by checking for an arrow in its title. So if the database title doesn't have an arrow, it's an original database. On the other hand, if the title includes an arrow, it's a linked database, just like in this example right here. So deleting an original database, so one without the arrow, can be irreversible. So as you can see here, all the databases on this page are original databases, as none of them have Arrow. So this is why this page says do not delete, because if you delete this page, you would be deleting all of the databases within your entire template. And all the databases outside of this page are going to be linked databases and not original ones. So if you accidentally delete any of the databases outside this page, don't worry, simply return to this page, locate the original database you deleted, copy its link, and paste it back to the desired page. And that's it. Your database will be fully restored without losing any data. All right, so now let's talk about how to start adding your own entries to the template so it begins to feel more personal and filled with your own information. First thing you're going to do is head over to the template setup page where you previously deleted the example entries in the template and go to step two. And from there, go to the section called customize and add your own entries. And in this page, you'll find these two callouts. So this page will help you get started with adding your own information to the template in probably less than 10 minutes. So in the first callout, just find the current year and start your yearly reflection and then create your vision board. Once that's done, move on to the next call out and begin planning your upcoming 12 week cycle. This way you'll start using the template the right way, keeping your life vision 
and your yearly goals in mind while planning each 12 week cycle. And that's basically it. Now, remember, this page is designed to guide you through the flow this template is meant to have, ensuring that everything is aligned and working cohesively to help you reach your goals. And that's a wrap on this 12 week Notion Planner. I hope you're ready to stay focused, track your progress, and make the next 12 weeks your most productive yet. And don't forget that with your purchase, you also get exclusive access to the Pixie Hub, which is a treasure trove of resources designed to maximize your Notion experience. Inside, you'll find helpful tips, tutorials, free customization items, and so much more to ensure you're getting the most out of your template. And the best part is, is that we update the Pixie Hub monthly with fresh content to complement your journey. And you can grab your template and start exploring the Pixie Hub by clicking the link in the description below. And if you have any questions, you can reach out to me via email at theproductivitypixie at gmail.com. I'm always happy to help. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you the next time. Bye! Thank <laughs> you.